to first off start, what was the impetus for this project for you? What, what made you get going? Um, Two things, really. Uh, you know, wanting to work with Felicity again and sort of crafting a story around her, and then uh, the music of Dustin O'Halloran really sort of influenced the tone and the style of the classical nature of the film. Okay. I, mean, I know that you like improvisation a lot, so I was wondering how close is, after all the improvisation that there was, how close was it to the initial idea that you had in your head, and also how long did it take to sort of sort through the cuts and uh, which ones you'd like? I mean, I, I, I guess there's so much material that you get from improvisation. It's... Yeah, no doubt. I mean, it's uh, uh, I'd say a, lo a lot of uh, the film really sort of, you know, sticks to the structure of what we set out to do, but sort of the execution of it changed and okay. it was very much so in a free form, which was exciting. And it takes, you know, months and months and months to go through and sort of pick those moments of truth, really, essentially, to sort of bring the scene together. Gotcha. And Felicity, um, um, I, I would be because you know it's improvised dialogue versus scripted dialogue. So do you have a preference? And um, yeah, do you have a preference on on, on that so one? We're just done. Um, we were just talking about that. I think actually the best thing is, is a hybrid of the two okay. um, is that even if you have a script um, in the traditional sense and you have the dialogue that you should be prepared to not say any of it if that feels right for that moment and, and that's something I think we're both <laughs> working towards is, is you should never just say something just because it's there um, you find your way yeah I mean that's it. what's exciting about it whether it's you know, scripted dialogue or it's scripted plot or subtext or emotional beats or whatever it is. It's like you really have to be prepared to let go of all of it or start over or go with it on the day and see how it feels because all the elements that, that happen live completely and utterly influence whether it's working or not working and the key is to be in tune to that and and, and go with it essentially. I was also ask, I mean, was was it nice? Was it easy just to just slip back into the thing, into the thick of things this time around? You've worked with before, gone to your crazy. Yeah, it was very instant. As soon as we were working together again, we immediately kind of have a um, a shorthand with each other and um, and argue a lot. And, and and but it's that thing that you're saying is that I think both of us we just want to make the scene work in the best possible way. So we're both impassioned and. Constantly um, questioning things, pushing each other, and that's something you could do with somebody that you know really well. Is you know, there's no boundaries to, to how far you can push it. And at the end of the day, you know, what matters most is that that, that it ends up on screen the best possible way it can be. Absolutely. Now, without getting too spoilerific, I mean, the, the, end, the way you end this is a little ambiguous, similar to how you did with like crazy. What's the motivation behind doing that? I mean, you know, life and romantic situations. And relationships are not black and white and they're gray and I think that uh, you know it's important for the audience to sort of add their plus one from their life and how they feel things sort of happen while still guiding the audience uh, yeah, carefully uh, at the same time it's you know it's gray and relationships are gray. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Um, I was going to say I mean one of the, one of the most interest, interesting things I like about the film is that um, with Guy Pearce's character he sort of he had that creative impetus earlier and you sort of lost it and you had to settle. So I was just wondering, you know, was there ever a time when, you know, the acting or the directing thing was a doubt for you? And also, what would you think that you'd be doing if it hadn't all worked out right now? That's, <laughs> That's really... Um, well, you often doubt what you're doing and yourself... I think it's important to constantly doubt yeah. what you're doing and to question it. Yeah, and um, and things don't always work, and sometimes that can be quite uh, hard because you put a lot of your effort and passion into something, and then it just doesn't come together. Um, and then you think, I'm going to do something else, uh, <laughs> but somehow something keeps driving you, and and you you still care and keep going. Um, if if I wasn't acting, um, I don't really garbage man. I <laughs> I've tried not That's to think. I'm. Yeah, yeah. Garbage, garbage. garbage rubbish, person. rubbish person. Yeah, that's right. It's different here. Um, I think, uh, yeah, I haven't wanted to think about it too much. I think with acting, it's so sort of uh, up and down, and, and if you don't absolutely 100% want to do it, you would stop doing it very quickly. Um, gosh, I mean. <laughs> 
professional golfer, maybe? <laughs> In this jacket. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 1920s golfer guy. Uh, no, I love the game. Uh, uh, you know, something to do with that, maybe. I don't know. It's so tough because from such an early age, you always wanted to, you know, direct. But. Okay. Uh, cool. I'm glad it will work out. No, still, it's still, it's still a process. Yeah. It's not, we may be running a restaurant. Not, no, soon. nothing has worked out yet. Yeah, restaurant would be good. <laughs> Nothing's fully worked out we yet. We could sell bagels Never. and stuff. Yeah, we yeah, could. Can eat them too. Right? I, love <laughs> yeah. I want to ask about the music as well. So I really, really like. Oh, thank um, you so much. I, I know you've got sort of uh, guidebooks and stuff like that. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Because I think that's really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because really I'm just wondering, um, how much uh, can you actually play the piano? How much of it was you in that? Um, well, I, uh, I had an amazing teacher who's a concert pianist herself, and it's a combination of uh, a lot of her skill and a small amount of my skill. Okay. Well, on the subject of that, I was wondering if you might actually test this skill, because I happen to have... Oh, uh -oh. no. This is... Oh, this is great. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't say it was all my so, own work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You really set yourself up. Now. It's a duet. You guys want to see? You can make some nice sound. Oh, can oh, we play man. something together? Oh, go on. Oh, yeah. great. I mean, Come this on. is going to be brilliant. I don't, I don't know. How about, how about a bit of Chopin, a bit of Bach, you know? You can really... This is amazing. This is more than you played on the movie. <laughs> <laughs> go on, you play something that end. I, 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 don't, I don't know how to do it. They're very tiny. This is very, uh, yeah. Like, They're very tiny. They're perfect for you. <laughs> this, is, this is very exciting to watch. This is, I mean, this is... Captivating television right here. That's what this is. Oh, you can change to different things. Oh, let's see. Yeah, organ, trumpet. Guitar. Guitar. So she can actually play. This is good. Very impressive. This is very good. I can't. No, I can't. Take it away. Yeah, no, I really like the film. Oh, thank you so much for taking the time to check it out. Thank you for taking the time to talk to me. Thank you, and thanks for bringing a baby keyboard. It's amazing.